Hi everyone, today we're going to test out some Shaman Control. Let's spin! This is a deck that I found on uh, the Mana Grind website. It uh, was a featured deck there and uh, I thought it was interesting. There's a few cards that I don't have uh, that I replaced. Uh, were two epics that I didn't have. But as usual, deck list will be in the description and at the end of the video. So let's see what we're up against now. And it's a hunter. It's a good chance that this will be a combo hunter. Let's see how we'll be able to deal with that. If that is the case, and lightning storm is a good thing to keep. I'm going to toss all of these though, because they tend to be much later game. Well, so is Lightning Storm to be fair, but if I don't draw into anything usable, then uh, I could still use it to uh, get me out of a sticky situation nice and early. But we drew into these Feral Spirits, so uh, I think we're going to be alright for now. Let's greet the guy. And pass the turn to him. So this is my third video that I'll be going up, and uh, first one was uh, the video where I showed off... Oh, hang on, we're going to lightning bolt this real fast. We're going to nip this in the bud right now. There we go. Don't want to draw any cards. It's a bad thing. So, um, first one I made, um, which has got the most views at the moment, is one where I show off a uh, rogue deck. And I went up against a priest, which uh, in those in that instance was one of the most played decks that there was. But the priest didn't put up much resistance. It wasn't a very good player, so we're going to go back to that deck and I'll show it off a little bit better. Now what we're going to do here, I think, is um, coin into the wolves. He'll probably draw a bunch of cards, but I don't want to use this removal for that, nor do I want to use the hex for it either. There's a lot better targets in a hunter deck to use that hex on. Granted, not many. So he'll draw two cards off of that. And I think in next turn we will... Oh, oh no, he can't wipe his board next turn because I'll be overloaded. Well, what we will do though is uh, we'll crash straight into that buzzard. Spell power, yeah, that could help us for next turn. Well, most important thing, Buzzard needs to go. And that keeps uh, two of my wolves alive. I kind of want to take care of one of the raptors now before he can buff it up. Um, which I think is what we will do. I'm not going to wait for him to bash his minions into mine. Because that probably make sure he'll get some better trades off. I don't want that. So this deck that I'm showing now is all about board control. It usually lasts well into the late game. Because basically what we are trying to do is um, starve him of card advantage. And see there is the buff. We didn't want that to, uh, to happen. And he'll gladly trade his cards like that very well. Cannot blame him for that. Um, right, what do we do here? What are our options? We may summon some more spirits, leaving us with four mana next turn. Which um, gets us a flame tongue totem and a random totem, which I kind of like. I don't think we'll be playing this four drop anytime soon. So, uh, well, not at least this turn. So let's summon a totem first to see what we get. It's a... Uh, Healing totem? Um, yeah, we'll drop the feral spirits again. Now, let's see when that trap is. Is it a snipe? I don't know what snipe would actually target. I think it doesn't target anything because that was a spell. Well, we'll see what it is. Uh, could be. Explosive trap would be quite bad for us here. But we can. Uh, Gauge the waters next turn and uh, attack him. See what that trap is. 
Okay, that uh, buffs up his minion, so we can make a uh, one attack trade right there. And another secret. And we'll just use his hero power. Right. And the question here is, I think we... Hmm. We could attack him in the face to um, try to pop those secrets. And then lightning... Oh, I wish I had a fork lightning in my hand right now because this... Mm -hmm. Could hit a lot of... a lot more... a lot more better targets. Yeah, that's good English there. A lot... Well, yeah, that is right. A lot more targets that are... Uh, better to take out. Um... Jeez, I'm tempted to just bash this into this. We give it more survivability. I could. I most definitely, I most definitely could. My Let's do this. And there we go. There's a snipe that dies. Not too bad, and that's probably an explosive trap. We'll be able to check right here. Now, I do forget if Explosive Trap uh, actually only works if you target the Hunter directly, or if it's against minions as well. Oh, well, those are good shots. And he'll hit me again. Could be two snipes. I don't discount that possibility. Could definitely be two snipes. Let's just... Uh, bash into him and see what that trap is. It's an explosive trap. There we go. So it's only when the hero is attacked. I should remember that from now on. Good. Um, ooh, I kind of want the card draw. That leaves me with four. What else can I play with four? Practically nothing. Uh, this will get me a card as well. And gets me a body on the board. And gives him something that he basically needs to remove. I'd like to play this when I have minions that are available for attack, so I won't. And uh, I'll shovel it over to him. Excuse me while I take a sip of coffee. I'm professional, I know, but man's got a drink. And he provided us with the perfect target to hex, especially now that we've got this flame tongue totem out. So uh, here we go. I'm terribly sorry, man, but um, playing against a shaman, I should expect these things. And now we can buff our minions up a bit. I don't want to attack. I want to play this so we can draw a card at the end of the turn. And there we go. Six damage straight to him and some good removal. Which again gets buffed up by this Azure Drake. Ooh, those are not good targets to hit. And it'll destroy. Man, he is sure getting some good shots off with that. This is, I think, a good time to just get some dudes on the board. That's what I want to do, really. Can I place this right here? Yes, I can. Yep, I just want to get some guys on the board and do some damage. I'm just gonna do this. Because if I wait too long with this, um, we won't be getting anywhere. He's only got two cards in his hand. And we've got massive damage coming in next turn. So he's gonna need to put out some answers. So it's not a combo hunter we're playing against. As is evidence. Yeah, that's something I almost expected would happen. And another high main. Um, drawing into another hex or frost truck right now would be amazing, but I doubt that would be the case. No, of course we don't. Um, how do we deal with this? I don't want to lose this guy. I can freeze it. And then go over his head with the seven, and then have a lethal on the board. 
think that's what we do. We just don't kill it. I should have played it on that side. That was a bad play. That was a bad play. We'll just put something else over there. So we don't lose that bonus. And then we just... Move over his head. Putting him at 9. I've got 6 damage in my hand. Oh, well, it's got immune. That doesn't unfreeze him though. And he gives up. And there we go, guys. And that's the deck in action against a pretty decent hunter deck. As you see, it's all about control, keeping uh, the card draw going, and uh, yeah, just basically toughing it out until the late game when your opponent has used up all of his cards and you still have a full hand. And uh, that's usually the way uh, a gar that you can get a guaranteed win in this game. Just uh, exhaust your opponent, make sure they have very few cards in hand, and just uh, keep making good trades, and then in the end, you're free to play as many of your bomb cards as you want. So uh, let's take a look at the deck list, shall we? And here is the deck list. I should also note that I don't only show you the wins. Um, I just show you whatever that I record, really. If I uh, would have lost this game, I would have shown it to you. And I would have told you why. I mean, as long as uh, I feel that I've done the deck justice, that I've showed off the mechanics of the deck, then I'll probably put it up, um, which is questionable with the priest, uh, I mean the uh, rogue video. But um, I'll show off that deck a little bit more because I quite like playing with it myself and, you know, why not record while you're at it. Anyway, this is a card you didn't see this uh, match, Earthshock, Sansa Minion, then deal one damage to it. That then is very, very nice because, uh, especially if you're playing against a Paladin with their uh, Silverhand uh, Knights, I think that's what they're called. You know, the, the one ones you get from re using Reinforce, the hero ability? Well... Um, I've had it happen several times that it put a Blessing of Kings on a 1-1 one, one, and you know it's a 5-5 five, five for 4 mana, 6 um, which isn't terrible because you've only used one card um, and they can use that to do a lot of damage but if you earth shock it it just dies it's 1 mana and the buffed minion just dies so that's very good just for that and it's a silence as well very very useful also synergize as well with um, the Azure Drake, which gives you spell power. Again, one of my favorite cards in the game, the Azure Drake, without a doubt. Frog Lightning, it's uh, random, which I'm not a big fan of, but it's two damage to two random enemies for three mana, basically. Uh, you get two mana in the overload, but that's good. That's really good. It's really good for a um, board clear, and you use it in the early game when they usually only have two targets which are usually also quite low health minions so this is great early game removal uh, only downside is they need to have two enemies uh, two uh, minions because you can't use this on a single minion sadly but that's where lightning bolt comes into play three damage one car uh, one mana one overload very simple very uh, straightforward and it's three damage and it can go to the face so if you are struggling for that last few damage to finish off your opponent you can just throw lightning bolts at him stormforged axe you didn't see this card either last game incredibly useful for early game removal uh, it's again it's got one overload but you get three hits with it and it's two damage which uh, helps you take out lots of the early game creatures um, and then there's the Flame Tongue Totem, very very solid card. Adjacent minions have plus two attack. Uh, that's just it's just a good. It's got three health, so it's um, it can survive quite easily, and uh, it forces your opponent to uh, deal with the buffed minions. And if the totem survives, you just place another minion next to it, and uh, it can go to town. Feral Spirits, such good value, two ton creatures, two threes, uh, for three mana with the two overload. Very, very good card for the early game. You can deal with so many creatures your opponent can uh, 
put out there and it'll force him to spend cards to deal with the threat that you've just put on the board. Hex, you've, saw, you've seen it in uh, this video, how useful it can be. I mean, get a big uh, death rattle card or something with lots of value like um, uh, legendary cards. Just hex them. They become nothing. They're a zero three zero one frog. Sure, it's got taunt, so you can swing over it immediately, but you can get rid of it so many ways with the cards in this deck. Um, it's hardly a downside, really. I actually prefer this over the Mage's Polymorph ability. Also, because it, it, I believe it costs one less mana than Polymorph. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. Um, Lava Burst. Good damage. You can swing it as fling it at his face. You can use it to remove bigger creatures in the later game. Solid, solid card. Uh, Lightning storm. Um, it's between two and three damage. So don't count on this swiping a board uh, of minions with three health. You may be able to take out a couple of them, but you know it's kind of luck of the draw here, really. Um, it's. When you play this, you should always count on it dealing two damage across the board and see where that gets you. Don't count on that extra damage, basically. That's just a bonus. That's how you should look at it. Still, solid removal and it deals damage to all enemy minions. Uh, there's not many cards that I think, I think except for Consecrate. Or, no. <laughs> no, I'm talking out of my ass again. Consecrate does it. Flame Strike does it. Um, Arcane Explosion does it. Still, good card. Use it. Manatite Totem, put this again uh, behind some feral spirits or uh, any sort of taunt or big threats and it'll draw you cards all day, keeping the card advantage going, which is a key part of playing this deck. Unbound Elemental, solid cards. Uh, I say that a lot. This card is... Um, I think it's more ethereal than solid. Uh, sorry, that was a terrible pun. Anyways, whenever you play an Overload card, gain plus one plus one. You've seen how many overload cards this deck has. You just play this guy and then kind of just have him stick around. Uh, the plus one plus ones will pile on automatically as you deal with their creatures. Defender of Argus, it's a 3 3 and uh, buffs up two of your minions and gives them taunts. I mean, that's just. Uh, that's fantastic. Very, very good. As a Drake, it's also your favorite card. I'm, I'm, I'm telling it right now, it's my favorite card. There you go. No more. I'm not going to beat around the bush anymore. It's got spell damage, it comes down on the field, it draws you a card. It's 4-4, four, four, which is absolutely fantastic, because it's good against the priest that's now in the metagame. Um, it survives lots of spells. And if they silence it, you've still drawn a card from it. You still have a 4-4 four, four on the field. If they immediately kill it, you've still managed to draw a card from it, and you force them to uh, use removal on it. It's just so good. Care, I threw this guy in as a replacement for uh, the two um, cards that I don't have. Oh, hang on. Which are, and I forget the name, the Earth Elementals. These are very good. If I had these, I would put them in. But as you can see, I'm kind of uh, dust poor at the moment. I don't want to disenchant a bunch of cards just to get uh, these. Um, so I guess I'll just be doing my dailies and buying some more packs to get through that dust. Anyways, um, I put Karen in and um, it's just a card that has death rattle, it's got value. Um, you may replace this with something something else. You may prefer to put in uh, a second unbound elemental. I wouldn't at all blame you for that. Maybe a doom hammer? Not too sure. But Unbad Elemental would be a good replacement for Cairn. Um, another Stormforge Dex as well. That works no problem. Fire Elemental, again, big body. And when it comes down, you can get you get to deal 3 damage. Either to his face, but you'll use this mostly to take out minions. Frost Elemental, you saw me use that guy. It's a 5-5, five five, which is sizable, and you can use it to lock down some of their creatures to give you the advantage in the late game to just swing right on through. And Malagos, I put this guy in there just for fun. Um, I mean, I accidentally pulled this guy out of a pack and uh, I put this in anything that's got lots of spells. 
It usually gets immediately removed or silenced, but um, I like putting them down anyways. Again, you can replace this with something else. Uh, you can replace it, like I said, with the Stormforge Axe, with uh, the uh, Unbound Elemental. Maybe even a Bloodlust, but we don't have that many creatures. What else? And also good late game cards. Um, yeah, maybe a Mountain Giant. Wouldn't be too bad, although, you know, that's an epic, you might not have that. So I don't know what else, really. Maybe Lord of the, Lord of the Arena. It's not a bad card, or just a Boulder Fist Dog, or just a big bad guy. So yeah, there you have it, folks. Uh, the Druid Control Deck from the Spotlight on Mana Grinds. The deck list is in the description. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Enjoyed the video, so get out there and play some.